Warriors win it 79-75 in a close game as expected. And hey, they swept the season series for Walsh. Joe Abramson along with Rod Beard. And Rod, a nice game for the Warriors, a team up. Right, it, it was spearheaded by Shannon Wilson. 21 points, 7 of 11 on field goals, and uh, 6 of 8 from the free throw line. I think that's what the Catalyst, 15 of, I'm sorry, 16 of those points coming in the second half. Uh, she really got it going, and once she started, started it going, those in-between shots, she only had one three-pointer today, but that in-the-paint game is what sets her apart from a lot of her competitors. There's her 1-3 going in right there. But uh, again, when she plays like this, she makes the Warriors a completely different team because she's probing, she makes the defense react, and she can set up other players. Just has to play with more confidence, and the entire team played with confidence. We saw it in the first half. We'll take a look at those highlights first. Wayne State got things going early, but see Walsh in transition here. Funderburg with the, the triple, Kelsey Funderburg. She finished with 13 points, three of those uh, three-pointers, a couple of field goals. But once they got that adjustment down, then it was Brittany Clopton that got going. She had a career-high 24 points and 10 rebounds, and she really got things going. And Wayne State really didn't have an answer until she started to go in the paint. And once she started doing that, then they, they found out that Brooke Wallace could guard her and Peyton Birchmeyer, and they, they had an answer. They figured something out. And that's just an adjustment, I think, that uh, Coach Kerry Lord made at halftime. There's Christina Green with a nice lefty off the glass and in. And then the steal here from Brittany Streetman goes coast to coast and puts it down. And this is where Wayne State pulled ahead, and they didn't really relinquish the lead after this point, after they pulled ahead in that first half. Shannon Wilson, another in between, in the paint again. Make the defense react. When nobody comes over to help, you can just float that thing right up and over. And she did that throughout this game. Warriors went into the break with the lead, gave up the lead, and then made a nice comeback and put this game away late. Yeah, and, and that's that's something that they can build on is you've got to have that uh, sort of constitution about yourself that, that you have a lead, you, you can compose yourself, and then you can carry that lead into the second half and maintain it. A lot of second half highlights. Let's take a look, first of all, at some of the Walsh plays. Well, for Walsh, they, they Clapton got going in that second quarter, but then they had to find another answer. Holly Grover gets a couple of jumpers to go, and again, Clopton with that mid-range, you can see that Wallace is playing her straight up. And here's outside, when she tries to get it inside to Grover, that's available for them, but they didn't get them at the rim, which is what they did a lot in the first half and what fueled their initial burst. Shannon Wilson again, in between, made a nice crossover dribble to avail herself of some more space and to be able to get all the way to the rack and to put it down. Birchmeyer on the baseline finds Meeks cutting, puts that one down, and the bench again, a 25 to eight advantage for Wayne State was the difference in this game. Walsh not as deep, this was gonna go for India Hawkins. Walsh not as deep and they didn't have those same answers. Off the inbounds play, Kristen along the street, and she takes a couple of dribbles and just puts it up. And again, being a catalyst, being somebody that can do it in different ways, Wayne State has more players of that ilk than Walsh does. Well, you can see the numbers, the shooting pretty close, rebounds, nice edge to the Warriors, and the bench, along with the points in the paint, another one, second chance points. The Warriors, 12 offensive rebounds, turned those into 16 second chance points, just eight second chance points for the Cavaliers. And you talked about Clopton leading the way for Walsh with 24. We should also mention Brooklyn Wooten with 16, along with four steals, and Grover, only six points, but five blocks, made her presence known on defense. The Warriors, and who don't you talk about? Brooke Wallace, nine rebounds to go with five points. Long, 15 points, five assists, four rebounds. Streetman, 11 points, five rebounds. Birchmeyer, 10 points, five boards, three steals. So many players did so much. Shannon Wilson, we already talked about, 21 points, five rebounds. Everybody contributed to this victory. And, and again, I echo that sentiment that if you have games like this that you can carbon copy this game, this is a playoff type effort that they put forth today. They just didn't do enough of it throughout the season to be able to let their record show that they're this type of team. As it is, at least they have an opportunity to finish the season up strong. We'll be back with that game against Finley on Thursday. For now, though, we'll remind you the final score. The Warriors beat the Cavaliers 79-75. For my partner, Rod Beard, for Tony Ortiz, for our director, Mike Johnson, I'm Joe Abramson. We'll see you next time with more Warrior basketball right here on CN 900.